And thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Craig O'Neill. And I'm Faith Woodard. We begin tonight with terrible news. Former Arkansas Razorback and Whitehall football coach Ryan Mallett has died at the age of 35. He drowned in Florida today. Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office tells us a group of tourists, including Mallet, were out on a sandbar in the Gulf of Mexico struggling to get back to shore. Mallet went underwater and when lifeguards pulled him out, he was not breathing. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. And THV 11 Sports Director Tyler Cass joins us live in the studio. And Tyler, this, this news has been a shock to the entire state and uh, we're, I'm sure we're starting to get reactions. Yeah, guys, I think shock really only starts to describe it. I think everyone in the Arkansas world, probably the entire sports world, did a double take upon first seeing that news. I know I did because it was so surprising because Mallet, almost kind of a larger than life figure for so many in this state, a quarterback who breathed new life into a football team that for so many in Arkansas is life itself. The Razorbacks putting this out this evening and what will probably almost assuredly be the first in many steps taken to remember number 15. The statement thanking Mallet for providing quote some of the best moments in recent memory and then offering condolences to his mother Debbie and Mallet's entire family. It was of course Bobby Petrino who helped to shape that era of Razorback football along with Mallet the former head hog putting out this statement tonight remembering Mallet the man and the football player reminiscing about fourth and three against LSU when Mallet brought down the house at War Memorial Stadium. And then of course, post Arkansas, Mallet spent seven years in the NFL. His coaches and teammates from those years, including the Patriots, Bill Belichick, and then JJ Watt of the Houston Texans, the man who caught Mallet's first NFL touchdown, took their time to pay respects tonight. Most recently, Mallet was the head co football coach at Whitehall High School, a program that has now dealt with far more than its fair share of tragedy recently. The school district posting this on Facebook tonight. The football team will hold a voluntary meeting tomorrow to remember the man who, to them, wasn't just a hog hero, but their coach. His place in the Razorback firmament is well established because like you mentioned, when he came in, he gave us all a shot in the arm for a program that was in transition and needed that shot in the arm. And it makes you wonder, Tyler and Faith, if there will be some maybe a retirement of the jersey mm -hmm. or some somewhere down the line an honor for him in his name. I know already tonight just kind of spontaneously hog fans in Fayetteville have been putting flowers out at that Razorback statue wow. next to the stadium. So yeah, like you said, I imagine we'll see even more from the team and once the season gets going. Wow. Uh, all right, Tyler, thank you so much. And this is a story we will be following for days as more details and reaction comes in.